Hey, my brothers and sisters, it is Wednesday, and I've had some good conversation and dialogue with a number of you over these past few days of the events that are happening in our, in our nation and in our cities uh, over the past uh, number of days. And you know, a number of you have asked, well, what do you think? What do you have to say? How are you feeling about this? And so I thought maybe I'd take some time today to just kind of share that with you, and I'll start off kind of by saying, I'm not sure that what I have to say really matters and has any significance in the grand scheme of things, but maybe on the off chance you're feeling about this the way I'm feeling about it, you're thinking about it the way I'm thinking about it, and you're asking questions, how can I make this better? Uh, like maybe you're thinking of or like you're, what's in your heart and in your mind, I thought maybe some of this would be helpful. And as I think about uh, nine days ago and the murder of George Floyd, and you know, I've had some conversations with some black friends of mine that I love dearly just to try and get inside their heads and say, what, what are you thinking? What's in there? What's been your experience? And, you know, help me understand because there's something inside of me as, as I continue to see those events happen. There's something inside of me that just gets, it gets very angry and gets very heartbroken and sad. And, you know, as I think about the conversations that happen uh, in black homes, with spouses and children in the days that, that we live in. There's something inside of me that says, we, we have to do better. We have to get better at this. We can't just talk about it. We have to do something different here. You know, as I watch on TV, so that, that's one part of how I'm feeling about it. Another part of how I'm feeling about it, you know, as I watch on TV, our frontliners, our law enforcement officers, you know, some dear friends of mine, they're good men and women who serve on the front lines in our law enforcement agencies. You know, as I'm watching the TV and seeing fireworks and projectiles hurled at police, and just to see what their, what their experience is, there's something inside of me that gets very angry and very heartbroken and very sad. And as I think about the conversations that are happening in law enforcement homes with spouses and children, there's something inside of me that says we have to get better, we have to do better, and we have to talk about this. And it's complicated to hold those two things in balance. But then there's another part of this that's really complicated for me. As I watch on TV, the, the storefronts of these small business owners, these business owners, these companies, and seeing windows shattered and stolen goods being taken out of stores, my heart just kind of breaks and gets angry for you know, those of you who are store owners, small business owners who have spent your whole lives you know, working toward and building this. And you know, my heart thinks, well, what if that was in this community with people that I love? And so my heart breaks and, and there's an anger that stirs inside. And I say to myself in my heart and mind, we, we have to get better at this. We can do better. And so for me, it's kind of all of that. In one, and I'm not sure if the combination of all those things means that I really am not passionate about any of it, when in my heart I feel like I'm passionate about all of it, and all of it makes me angry, all of it causes sadness and heartbrokenness in my heart and mind. And so on the off chance that that's you and you're kind of feeling the same way, uh, I want to encourage you. Uh, I, I think it's okay to feel that way. Um, I think it's okay to think that way if we have as a goal to get better. We have to get better at how we think about these things as we do these things and as we act to love others. And so a portion of the scriptures that I thought might be helpful uh, for you today from Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 9. And actually all of what follows verse 9 is really good, but just a couple of verses. In uh, Romans 12, chapter 9, Paul writes, Love must be sincere. Love has to be real. We can't just talk about it in terms of, you know, like a quality or a characteristic of people who claim to be Christians. Paul says love must be sincere. It's got to be real. We ought to actually be doing something about it. Then he says this. He says, hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Love must be real. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. And then in verse 10, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people and all who are in need and practice hospitality. So whatever you're feeling 
uh, whatever you're thinking uh, today is uh, especially for those of us who would call ourselves Christians, that your love would be sincere, that it would be real. And however complicated and messy or however simple and that is in your heart and mind today uh, to challenge you, to encourage you in your love for others, that it would be real, that it would be sincere, and that you would have in your heart to make this better. So I'm going to pray over you and to pray over what we're experiencing right now, uh, if you join me. Lord Jesus, as we are journeying through the days that we are journeying through experiencing, seeing, hearing, and feeling all that we are as people of faith, as your disciples in the communities we live in, that our love would be sincere, that we would hate what is evil and love what is good. God, I pray for families that are affected by all that is going on uh, right now and uh, pray for your peace, uh, that peace that passes all understanding. Uh, Lord, grant that to each and every one. And Lord, I pray uh, for us that would call ourselves Christians, that it wouldn't just be with our words that we are loving others, but it would be with sincere actions. So we ask for strength and we ask for uh, hope and courage in the name of Jesus. And all of this we pray in the name of the risen Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless the rest of your day, church.